Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all the videos we post in future from totsandmoms.com. Hi people, good morning. I'm Kavita and welcome to Tots and Moms. January 15th is coming with Makara Sankranti this year and uh, most of the times it falls between 14th and 15th of January. This is a festival which is celebrated widely across India and there is more to it that we need to know and our kids need to know. So we owe a responsibility of sharing tradition and culture to the next generation. So this is my attempt to do that and uh, I would request please sit down with your little one. This is going to be as simple and as informative that your kid can understand. So let's move ahead and understand what is Makara Sankranti. It is an ancient Hindu festival known to be celebrated for more than 2000 years. On this day, the sun enters the Capricorn, which is Makar, the Indian zodiac sign. The day marks the end of winter and beginning of summer, meaning transit of the sun. What are the transformations that happen? The sun changes its direction from this day in the month of January. With this change, the direction of wind also changes. Winter is gone and summer starts. Sankranti in parts of India, how is it celebrated? What is it called? In South India, Pongal or Makar Sankranti, which is mainly a harvest festival. In North India, it is Lori, which is celebrated with a bonfire to mark the end of winter. In East India, it is Uttarayan, which is celebrated by flying kites mainly. And in West India, it is called as Maghi, which is celebrated by bonfires, cow fighting and making merry. In most places, almost all rituals are common. And this is why we are proud of our country and citizens which fear unity in diversity. When is this festival celebrated? It is celebrated on the 14th or 15th day of January every year. Five things to celebrate this transformation. Let's go ahead and watch them. The major thing is Surya Namaskar. To welcome the change in the sun, people perform this Yogasana. This is a yoga series which exercises the whole body. It is very important to teach this to kids as it will keep the body fit and enhance growth appropriately. Gifting in Northern India, brothers gift their sisters, family, warm clothing. In Southern India, people give away various gifts along with a special mixture of sesame seeds and jaggery which is also called as yellow bella in Kannada. Some people also gift books during this festival as it is a means to spread knowledge. The special foods made on this occasion majorly include sesame seeds and jaggery which are the main ingredient in every region. Pongal is one rice dish which is served in South India on this day and is made from a fresh harvest. Flying kites it is a tradition followed which scientifically exposes the body to sunlight for longer hours. This is to get the body adjusted to the sun after the long winter colds. The initial rays of the sun are rich in vitamin D. Sun exposure nurtures the skin to adapt to summer. The new crop is harvested now. A reason to celebrate is also the first harvest that comes at the end of the winter. The crop is all decorated and worshipped before it is used to cook the dishes for the day, for the festival. It is also a form of paying respect to Mother Earth for giving us good crop on which life is dependent throughout the year. Wish you all a very happy Sankranti. Let's make this a colorful and sweet festival. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to share this with your family and friends so that they do this 
again sitting down with their kids and sharing the knowledge with them it is really important informative to know what our culture is and um, if you like this video comment and let me know keep me inspired to do more such ones and i'll see you on the other side of another video till then take care of yourself happy makara sankranti bye bye